I saw Maya Deren's Meshes of the Afternoon in my film history class with about a hundred other students. There were three of us students, we were all girls, sitting there in the auditorium space, and we kept waiting for a woman's cinema. We didn't see one other woman director. And I think the three of us in the room all went, yes, yes. And when I saw that, I knew that there was room for me in cinema. This was the only woman I'd seen all semester I should make cinema. My Darren developed a concept called vertical filmmaking. Vertical filmmaking for Maya meant that many emotions would be called forth from the viewer from a particular image or juxtaposition of images. And I think I do that through layering. Um, many impositions of images come together along with sound so that if you looked at a horse is not a metaphor, my most recent film on surviving ovarian cancer in 2009, you'll see my eye coming through a horse's eye. In the background you might see a bald head on a hospital bed getting, um, getting chemotherapy and way behind might be an open space in Wyoming with a horse running through it. All those things we can experience in one moment. Gertrude Stein writes about this too. Now another influence on my work. So I feel that Maya Deren started me thinking about how can I put my feelings in film. Oh, well, I'm involved in this very exciting project. It's called Maya Darren Sink. When I was sitting at Anthology Film Archive one day, somebody said, Maya Darren Sink is here. I went, what? <laughs> yes, you can see it, it's out in the hallway. So I went out and looked and there was this old bathroom sink could have been with, um, you know, dust and dirt on it and the tubing below and what is this? And so I got to talk to the man who um, had picked it up from a home here in Manhattan and the woman who lives in the home was renovating her bathroom and she wanted to get rid of the sink and she had a new one coming in and then she thought, oh, this was my Darren sink, somebody would want it. <laughs> So then I was able to get her name and go into her home and, and shoot um, there. I feel my film is about projections. Maya Darren's sink holds everything like a kitchen sink. I feel myself that what I shoot and, and what I've made depends upon the environment in which I live. So in bent time, it's expansive, I'm outdoors. In New York, I'm limited to a small studio. And I've always felt my work would be different given a large studio. So I thought Maya Darren was in a similar situation. She didn't have a lot of money, no financing for her film. What were her environments like? And what did she film in them? So I take those architectural details and reproject them into the space today in which she has lived, inhabited, and worked. Ghosting, Ghosting Maya Darren. I mean, maybe that'll be the title. Right now it's Maya Darren Sink. <laughs>